Richie Moss. I live in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. I've been doing judo 41 years now. Um, I started judo at the age of six years old. Um, my parents put me in because I was a little rambunctious running around, and so somebody suggested that they bring me down here to Cahills, and uh, never stopped doing judo since. Yes, I got uh, promoted to sixth degree black belt, which is a Rokudan. Um, it's taken you know, quite a long time, you know, 41 years of judo, and um, it's an honor to be promoted uh, to that degree by Mr. Cahill. Well, the reason I, I continue to stay in judo and teach judo is to help uh, the kids gain self-confidence, uh, get respect, you know, and then I gain out of it just getting to see them grow as a student, as a person, and then into a, you know, an adult and be respectful and humble and uh, just, you know, that's the main thing about judo, you know, to have the self-respect and confidence that they, they gain and build. I think the biggest thing that I gained that I remember as a being a young man, being a national champion, coming up through that, uh, no matter what, you know, you, you have to be humble, right? Uh, just remember, you're not better than anybody else. You have to work hard to to be a national champion, and work harder to to maintain to be a national champion each and every year. Um, and it's tough on the parents, you know, they have to have the uh, dedication and sacrifice to make sure the kids get to judo each and every day, you know, three, four times a week. You know, they, uh, it's a big sacrifice for the parents, you know, money-wise, time-wise, travel, you know, there's a, there's a lot to it. I think that they, um, seeing their sensei, you know, Mr. Cahill is a prime example of being humble. You know, you can't meet a better sensei person than me, and that's, to me, I consider him my second father, you know, it's, uh, so that's, that's the main thing about a sensei, you know, that's, that's our job is being a sensei to make sure the kids, you know, they're polite, they're respectful to the parents. Um, that uh, if, I, I tell my students that if they can't say something to me, I don't expect them to say it to their parents. You know, it's, um, and that's how they get ahead in life, you know. That's, and they, they have that drive, uh, the respect, and the, and the goal, you know, to achieve and it follows them all the way through their life up into adults. Yeah.